Hello everyone and thank you for joining us today. In this presentation we're going to show you how to use Spread Arbitrage, which is our new crypto trader tool. You can access this tool by clicking on Tools at the top and then on Spread Arbitrage Monitor right here. Now bear in mind that this tool is only available to those users who have a balance of at least 150 DHT. So if your balance falls under 150 DHT, you will not be able to use this. So it's a good idea to be uh, mindful of your balance at all times. So let's go ahead and click on uh, Tools and then Spread Arbitrage. So the first tab that you see is Symbols uh, Management. Uh, we have two fields. We've got Base Symbols and we have uh, Quote Symbols. Now Base Symbols is for altcoins or even Bitcoins and Ethereum. Uh, these will be used relative to the uh, Quote Symbols below. So these will be used as pairs. Um, for example, um, Ethereum and Bitcoin, or um, Ethereum and USD, or uh, Ripple and Bitcoin, and so on. So essentially, these two fields generate the symbols uh, that we will use with this tool. So we can click on Next at the very bottom and move on to the next tab which is the Exchange tab. Now, this is where we add the exchanges that we will use. Um, we need to click on the Add button um, at, the, at the bottom. And we can now select our first exchange. So from the list of exchanges right here, we choose the one that we want to add. Let's go with, um, with this one. Once you select the exchange, hit Enter and the symbol format field is automatically filled, automatically populated with the symbol format used by this exchange. Uh, the symbol mapping uh, field is used in a situation where the exchange uses um, unconventional, non-conventional symbols. For example, if the exchange uses XBT instead of uh, BTC for Bitcoin, then you would put that in there. Um, and finally, in the commission fields, you specify the commission used by the exchange. Now, keep in mind that the value is not expressed in uh, percentage terms. So if the commission used by the exchange is 0.2%, you need to enter 0.0020 as shown. If the commission is 0.25%, you need, you need to enter 0.0025, like this. You do the same thing for every other exchange that you would like to add. Let's just add a few more um, exchanges. We'll go with we'll go with um, Poloniex. We'll add Exmo. Cex.io is another one that we can add. Um, let's add, say, let's go with uh, Bitstamp. We can uh, go with Bitfinex and maybe Bitrex as well. I'm just going with the more popular um, exchanges right now. <clears throat> okay, so we now have our exchanges, so we now need to generate all the symbol pairs that, that are involved in our arbitrage so that they are mapped to the exchanges. Um, what I mean by that is, if you look at the exchanges that we've selected um, on, the, um, on the left, you will see that there are currently no symbols mapped to these exchanges, they're empty. So what we need to do is click on, we need to click on add all symbols right here, right at the very bottom. And once you click on yes, all the relevance pairs will be automatically generated for the exchanges. This, this process will take a few, a few moments, so let's just wait a little bit. We'll have a nice little message that says done once it's done. And there it is. And now if we click on, um, say, XML, 
we will see that there are a bunch of symbols in here. Bitrex, same deal. So every exchange for arbitrage now has uh, every exchange that we we'll, that we'll use for arbitrage um, now has an automatically generated list of symbols, and they have been mapped. So let's move on to our last tab, which is spread monitor. Um, the symbol field is empty right now, so we need to click on um, we need to click on run. Uh, so you can see this is empty. So we'll just click on run at the very bottom, and now we have a list of symbols. Uh, when we choose a symbol from that list, we see the spreads available for the exchanges. Um, some exchanges support these currencies and some don't, so this is reflected in the data um, that you see here. Now let's take a look at the, uh, let me, let's go over the, the, um, the table itself, the data that you see. Uh, the table is always the same, so let's use Ethereum USD as our example. Um, at the top, you see the exchange. Um, you can see the volume, that's letter V, and you can see the last price immediately below the volume. That's at the top. On the left, further below, you see the um, you see the exchange, the volume available for purchase, and the purchase price. So essentially, you have the bids at the top, and the asks, the offer uh, at the bottom on the left. Um, you see both the available volume and the available price. Now let's say we, we would like to add some kind of automatic rule for one of the exchanges. Uh, we first take a look at we, uh, our balances under the uh, balances tab. So let's navigate to the uh, balances tab right here. We can see that right now we have some uh, US dollars with XMO, but we don't have any with CX.io. Uh, we only have Ethereum and Bitcoins with CX.io. So that means we'll have to open a buy order with XMO and a sell order with CX.io. So uh, XMO will be our buy sides, uh, buy exchange, and CX.io our um, sell exchange. So let's go back to our table. Oops. Okay, so we select to have a cross between the two exchanges, between XMO and uh, CX.io. And then we need to right click. Um, so let's just select them and then right click and select, click on create automatic rule. We need to input a label. Let's just enter test one. Test one and click OK, and we now have an automatically created rule. So let's let's go over the definitions here. Um, we have the label, we have the buy exchange and the sell exchange. We've got the um, symbol that we'll trade. We've got the lot size and the open and close spreads. The other headings, that's our statistics. So we've got the current open and close spreads and the minimum open and close spreads. So let's activate this by clicking, uh, by checking off um, the enabled box. So we see that for this pair, the current open spread is 0.3% and the current close spread is 0.3%. Zero point twenty-seven percent. So, if we want to at least break even on our arbitrage trades, we'll need a difference of at least one percent between the open spread and the close spreads because we need to take into account the commission fees that we'll pay both on the buy and on the sale. Um, so, if we want to break even, um, in in that case, we need to set the open spread uh, to minus one and the close spread uh, to zero. And that way we'll ensure that the um, commission fees are covered, um, although 